going on guys and welcome back to the channel welcome to episode 34 of our nascar heat 5 career mode we are in the round of eight playoffs in the xfinity series and my wheel setup is in i got the logitech g920 and the little shifter my thrust master is still over here and uh probably keep it just for shits and giggles but i don't have this dialed in yet so i'm just kind of playing it out right now let's get to racing kansas <sighs> round of eight playoffs i wonder what gear they have to start in probably so nope of course i messed that up right away look at that all right we are good we're gonna get into fourth gear and now we roll now we don't have to worry about shifting anymore. so one thing i've learned uh, with this and especially with using the shifter is uh, you really got to figure out your settings that is for damn sure and I can't just like one hand drive like I normally do because you have the force feedback um, I'm not done tweaking everything by any means at all so it's kind of a terrible time to play trial and error with a steering wheel setup uh, especially being in the round of eight but uh, I really wanted to get this wheel in motion and uh, really get to using it I played around with it a little bit on Forza um, and let me tell you, that is different. It is uh, very different than using my little Ferrari wheel that I had. And uh, there will be some content coming up soon in reference to that. But I'm super excited to have this wheel. Super excited to be in the round of eight playoffs as well. And I really want to maintain that. Right now we're in third place in the standings. And uh, I, I want to make the final four i really do i really want to make the final four i don't know as if we have the car to pull off the championship but anything can happen anything can literally happen and uh if you guys have a g920 and you guys run it on the xbox and you guys have some different setups and different ways that work for you please drop them in the comment section down below so i can kind of play with my wheel settings and get this stuff situated um, I haven't had all the time in the world to really play with it, um, but I want to. I want to be locked in. I want to be able to run the way that I ultimately want to run, it, even even without having things tweaked to perfection. It is night and day difference running with this setup. I will say that. A um, little pricey. A little pricey. I ended up paying $320 some dollars. Uh, brand new for all this stuff. I figured I'm going to use it a lot. I might as well get brand new. Um, so... Yeah, in comparison to my Ferrari wheel, which was, I want to say, $69.99, um, this was a huge step up in price, but I will be able to use this in the long run moving forward. Five laps into it, we are sitting in P12. Uh, not exactly where I want to be, but I feel like we definitely have a top 10 car. It's just a matter of making the move in the next three laps. Everybody's kind of getting bunched up here. Um, so I'm thinking there is a potential we are going to be able to slide in and uh, make moves that we need to. Uh, right now, look like we're going to pull underneath the 11 car, but that just wasn't going to happen. I think it's awesome though in the front stretch because we've got three cars to choose from, from who we want to get draft from. Um, somehow the 11 car just got one hell of a run on the outside. Not exactly sure how he got such a crazy run, but hey, if it works for him, it works for him. Uh, we are pushing right now got that p10 now we need to maintain we need to maintain for two and a half laps maintaining the top 10 there's a lot of good drivers in this round of eight a lot of good drivers and a lot of good drivers that are in front of me right now <laughs> let me put it to you that way uh, lots of good drivers that are in front of me that are currently in the playoff hunt and uh each position that we make up is going to make just that much of a difference like passing that 18 car he is in the hunt for the playoffs um i believe oh no maybe not maybe not but regardless hey we're, we're just gonna keep pushing as we approach the start finish line we're up into p9 which is that's hey i think that's awesome uh looks like we might be able to snag away P8 here before the race is over. This will be a good start to our playoff run. Not the best, but uh, definitely not the worst. I'll take a P8. Um, see like that, like my wheel kind of, I feel like it got kind of locked down on that inside position there. Um, 
I stated, I want you guys to give me your feedback. I want you guys to tell me how you run your wheel setups. In the meantime, we're going to come in P friggin' 8, baby. First race of the round of 8. P8, I'll take it. Not the best, like I said, but I'm not upset. Let's go to the next race and see where we're sitting in the point standings. Texas. Much better restart than the last race. We're only three points from being in the danger zone as I miss fourth. And uh, I want to say we have this race and next race to secure our spot, but I'd much rather, rather than really like digging for a win, I'd much rather just go for consistency here. And that was kind of a risky move. We definitely have a fast car. Uh, no question about that. We, we have a fast car. Just need to get up there. Really need to get up there. And this is an eight lap race. We have seven laps to go. P15. Gotta get in front of Justin Haley. Get around Jeffrey Earnhardt. The sooner we can get around these two, the better. I'm definitely faster on the straights because I am freaking running into them from behind. Justin Haley, you know I have a faster car. Just get the hell out of my way. Come on. Right now we're sitting in P13, P14. Jeffrey Earnhardt and I keep flipping back and forth, but I'm going to secure the spot here. Possibly take over P12. We're moving. We are absolutely freaking moving, but I feel like we're wasting time. Putzing around here in the mid-teens. We need to get up there. Yeah, I'm here. Thanks. Thanks, Balicki. I am, yes, I am absolutely on the track, same track as you, in case you were wondering. Yes, that is my car beside you. So if uh, if you could stay in your lane, that'd be fine. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Awesome. Good looks. Thank you. Kind of got the memo. You went really high that time. All right. P11, we have got some ground to make up. Our teammate, Chase Briscoe, secured his spot with winning the last race at Kansas. He secured his spot, so that is awesome. At least one of the two Stuart Haas cars are going to the Final Four for a chance to win the championship. we got four laps to go. I want to get into the top ten. I want to get in front of Algar, that's for sure. Definitely want to get in front of Algar. I got to try to get draft from Riley Herbst here, but I don't feel like we're just too far out. I've well, we got a little bit there. I need to get up to Algar. No matter how much the car is not going to cooperate with me. We were fast for a mid-teens car, but I don't think we're extremely fast for a top 10 car. Relapse to do what we need to do here. We're definitely picking up ground. Uh, slowly but surely. I just don't know if we're going to have the time. It's the biggest thing. just don't know if we're going to have the time. Even a top 10 here would be great. But I wanted more. I wanted better. Because it's going to put the pressure on on that last race for us in the round of 8. Not what I wanted to put myself in. I would have I would have preferred to win one and just kind of get that out of the way and secure our spot, but in the same token. The Xfinity Series is a competitive series, and uh, they're going to make us fight for it. I don't even care if we come at P10 and Riley passes Justin Algar. I really wouldn't care if that was the case. I just feel like I need to get in front of Algar by all means. I believe we're taking one to go here. Absolutely, one to go. Come on. We need to get right up under this bumper here. And we need to get a shot to get him into, into turn three. We need to get him into three. He's going to try to hug. I'm going to just shove. No contact. If I have to make contact, I feel like... I, I might have to make contact. If we have to make contact here, I'm going to. But we are going to finish in front of Justin Algar and come with a P9. <sighs> P9. 
next race. I normally don't do well at Bristol, or I normally do well at Bristol, I normally don't do well at Martinsville, but we're starting P3 here today. We are one point out of making the final four, and uh, we start in P3, which was awesome. We need to finish in front of Harrison Burton, or Ross Chastain, or both, or we just pull away with the freaking dump today. 10 lap race, we're behind our teammate Chase Briscoe. Honestly, if we come in P2, I feel like we secured our spot, but I don't want to go too low there and wipe myself out. This wheel is really fighting me, and this is where maybe I should have did some practice laps. Oh, man. This is, this is tough. I feel like we're just holding everybody off here, and we're going to have to hold everybody off for an extended period of time. We're just slowing everybody down. Chase Briscoe's probably going to win this race, and I'm completely okay with that, as long as we can hold everybody off, which might be a challenge because they, they get me on the straight. I won't lie. They get me on the straight. Not that lot. Seven to go. I keep hitting that inside freaking uh, bump. Front consistency, Nussie. Run consistent. If you have to run high, run high. I do not see Harrison Burton or Ross Chastain in the top five right now, but that does not mean I'm not worried because I mean, just now, Guyer still is able to attack. Cedric's pretty much locked himself in. It just doesn't say that he's locked in. Um, I'm thinking if I can pull this off. It'll be me, Briscoe, Sindrick, and one other. Whether it's Ross Chastain, Harrison Burton, or Algar. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an interesting one. I just need to just focus, focus, baby, focus. Four locks to go. We are actually catching Chase Briscoe a little bit and putting a little bit of Pushing between us. I'm not saying I'm not going for the win, but in the same token, the win would be nice because that definitely secures us a spot. But I think P2 definitely secures us a spot as well. Not good. Took that a little bit too hot. I, I kind of hope Chase Briscoe catches some lap traffic, but I my heart to stop. Uh, I hope he catches this lap traffic and it slows him down, kind of opens the door for me to win, but there's only two laps to go. And honestly, like I said, as long as I finish this race in P2, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Man. I think we're going to secure our spot in the final four, baby. Two more turns. Honestly, if Michael and that passes me, I, I really don't care. But uh, I wish Briscoe would have caught this pack a little bit sooner. But we're going to finish this race in P2, and that should secure our spot in the freaking playoffs. Let's double check. <sighs> I'm geeking out. We made the playoffs by four points. I'm pretty freaking excited. It's going to be a showdown between myself, Austin Sindrick, Chase Briscoe, and Ross Chastain. That'll be in the next episode. I'm excited yet nervous for this race, but hey. We made it in, that's all that freaking matters. Anyway guys, if you guys like the content, give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think about the wheel. Drop your uh, setups for what you guys run specifically with this wheel. Um, I'm debating if I want to run the shifter or not. I kind of like it, I'm trying to get a feel for it. But I will see you guys in the next one. Later!